Hello everyone, I'm Kyla and welcome to my channel. So today I'll be filming a short video on the LVPM agenda which I have right here. I know it's a little bit overdue but I just received my uh, inserts. I hope you enjoy this video and if you do, don't forget to like and subscribe. So this is what the LVPM planner looks like. So it has a button closure. Mine's really really old so I guess that's the reason why you can see you know the ends are kind of like flapping out a little bit. So basically on the left when you open it, it comes with like three card slots. It has a little back slip pocket here where I just used to keep some cash. And it has another slip pocket right at the back where you can, you know, just keep whatever random stuff that you may want to keep. And then it comes with this uh, ring binder ring binder so yes this ring binder is really really tiny i'm not sure if you are able to see it but in general if your planner is a full planner like this it's not going to fit in there so usually what i do i just take it out take out like half a year at a time and then i'll just keep the other half and then as you know time goes by i just swap it, swap out the uh, inserts accordingly then I have a Polaroid here that I just use as a bookmark whenever I need to. Okay, so let's start organizing because you know, my planner came really really late so my life has been a complete mess. So just open up your ring binder by pushing down the two buttons here. You can actually change your ring binder if you want. I mean, it's not going to be the original LV ring binder. You can just get one off from Etsy or uh, Amazon. I'm not sure Shopee may have. But uh, this is really up to your individual preference because if you were to change the ring binder size, right, it would become slightly overstuffed. So it really depends on you. If you're fine with that, then, you know, uh, changing it may be a better option so that you don't have to split your inserts. But for me, I just prefer having the smaller ring binder so not to overstuff my uh, planner so it comes with this dashboard um, it's very random I didn't choose it I mean you can really you can choose one if you like so that you know, it will match your lifestyle let's see at a glance so this is slightly more in depth like maybe all the important occasions that you have in that month you can input in here just so that you know you have everything really handy but as you can see, they are very limited lines, so you just keep this for like the really, really important stuff. You know, like maybe someone's birthday that you don't want to forget, um, then you can just key that in there. Uh, another inspirational quote here. And then we have bucket lists, things that, you know, are important that you want to do, things that, places you want to see and check out so that you just don't forget. Uh, and then here we have yearly goals. So things that you want to plan out for the year, could it be for your career, your family, you know, holidays that you want to go on, quarterly goals. So this is actually good because, you know, like I mentioned, I actually split my uh, inserts up by like, you know, half yearly. So by having this quarterly goals, it kind of just allows me to have like two quarters in my calendar at a time. Okay, so let's start off with January. Okay, it's a little bit hard to just insert this into the slots when I'm trying to film and show you guys, you know, what comes with. So I'll just fill that in later. Then we have each month. So January, the top three things that, you know, I want to accomplish, the important tasks. So I have like 10 things here that I can put in. And then we have an overview of January. So it's just another, you know, bird's eye view on everything that I have going on that month and then we are down to the individual days so this one gives me a little bit more space to write things in uh, day by day so that I just don't forget because honestly I'm just so forgetful lately especially you know mom brain is an actual thing and I feel like I'm getting it uh, quite badly after three children so uh, this is a review on everything that has happened in January which is you know a good reflection sort of I'm not really a very sentimental person so I don't keep like you know a full-on diary so having this you know just allows me to you know just take a moment to reflect on life on things that I'm thankful for things that I would like to work on uh, the following month and things that you know I've sort of accomplished
So I'm done filling uh, till July actually. So I'm not sure if you noticed but as I was filling it up towards the end it's a little bit harder so you have to fill from back to front. So that's where the notes portion comes in where I inserted from the back to the front. So this is what the book looks like filled. Okay, so one thing to note, your dashboard is always good to get one with a hard cover. This is really flimsy. I had one previously but it actually broke. I'm not sure how I broke it but the reason why is because this is portion here, right, that sticks out. So when you are actually writing notes on the left hand side, it can get a little bit difficult to write if you don't have like a firm surface as compared to this side. You would, most often I keep this quite empty so it's not really filled. Oops, sorry, that shook a little. So it's a lot easier to write on this side as compared to this side, mainly because of the card slots here. So getting a harder dashboard is actually important if you are um, uh, planning on using this uh, for a lot more writing. If let's say you know you're just writing very basic stuff like um, you know just your basic calendar overview then you don't really have to be so worried about the unevenness of this but if you're writing a lot more things like notes uh day-to-day -day stuff things to do um things that you're being thankful for example just a lot of writing then it is important to get one with a harder dashboard so that it's a lot easier for you to write on uh, so yeah, that's just my general overview on this agenda. I hope you found this video useful and if you do, don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next time, bye!